Hey guys, and welcome to the guide. In this episode, we're talking about Homefronts the Revolution. Uh, specifically the single player, the campaign of the game. Homefront well, had the misfortune of releasing a week after Doom released. Like, being the band that has to follow Metallica on stage, I mean, it's hard to live up to that, so... You gotta give it a little bit of leniency, because it was the act that followed Metallica. Um, I like this game personally, but it is rough around the edges, and gaming snobs will not like it because of it. It has a freezing glitch, like whenever you complete an objective, the game will just kind of sit there for a second or two while it catches up with itself. And the allies in the game make great bullet sponges and not a whole lot else. Besides that, um, it's a good game. I like it personally. I like where they're going with it so it gets my endorsement but that's not saying a whole lot it is hard yeah, it's re it's really hard like normal difficulty on this game is like hard difficulty on other games so don't feel bad if you gotta switch put it down to easy mode um, I'm still playing it on normal difficulty cuz I'm a stubborn bastard like that overall the shooting mechanics in the game feel pretty great and represent their real-life counterparts pretty well. I, I went over that in my multiplayer review, so I'm not going to go too far into that this one. Uh, the parkour element in the game works pretty good. It has some slight hiccups along the ways, but all parkour elements in all games, like, they're, they're never 100% dead on. Except for maybe Mirror's Edge, but that game was dedicated to parkour, so it better have gotten it 100% right on. Um, there aren't as many guns as I would like to see in a modern day shooter, to be honest. Like, why can't I use the KPAs, the bad guys gun? Like, why can't I use their guns? I don't understand that. And where's the AKs? Like, where's an AK-47 or an AK-74? I mean, America might have gotten taken over in this game, but Russia is still around somewhere. So, where's their guns at? There are five base guns that are like very American like all the guns that you can play with in this game are like super American oriented guns and then there's a rocket launcher too but the five base guns they can be made into two more additional guns each so what five times three that's 15 there's a total of 15 guns in this game plus the rocket launcher so that should be enough, but it just doesn't really feel like enough to me personally. I don't know, that might just be a personal problem. Um, this game is super patriotic though. I mean like, super patriotic. Every red-blooded patriotic American in the United States and Costa Rica should play this game. Like, if, if you consider yourself a patriot of the United States of America, this should be a game on your to playlist, like, for serious. <laughs> this game is so patriotic that they put a gun in it called the Freedom Launcher, and the only thing it does is shoot out an American flag colored firework. Like, the only point of this gun is to distract the enemy AI with a firework that are, that's the same color as the American flag. So, like, a red, blue, and white fireball. That's it. That's all this gun does. It's just like a distraction. And it's freaking awesome because of it. So, yeah. There's that. This game should have released closer to the 4th of July. Just like, just how patriotic it is. It should have released, like, maybe one month from now, closer to the 4th of July. Which would have been great, because then it would have given the developers more time to fix the little bugs that the game does have. I mean, the sudden stop that the game has it is mildly annoying, and I can understand why that annoys people. Um, personally, I can look past it because I like where this game is going, and it reminds me of like one of my all-time favorite games of all times, which is Freedom Fighters, which came out in the PS2 and the original Xbox era. Now, I am hoping that this game does do well, because I want to see another Homefront. 
I like where this franchise is going. I like where Dam Buster Studios and Deep Silver is like taking it. I like the overall idea of Homefront. And like this game is a great start. It's kind of like the original Assassin's Creed great start where like it shows a lot of promise. It's just not put together all 100% like it could be. So, I like this game a lot, and I really hope they are able to make another one. And if they do make another one, they should look deeply at the Freedom the freedom Fighters. Go back, check that out. Like, incorporate the squad-based mechanics of Freedom Fighters, where instead of just being able to walk up to a rebel and just be like, Hey, you are now fighting on my side and they just follow you around and that's pretty much all they do you can actually give that person orders and like just basic orders like go attack over there or go defend this or just follow me around for a little bit you know cause that's what made freedom fighters awesome and also with the multiplayer you could go take a cue from the console version of freedom fighters cause that was the only one that had multiplayer of freedom fighters but like that multiplayer was awesome where it was just one player versus one player but each player had like a full-blown squad of 12 following them around and they could give them orders so I am really hoping that this franchise continues and I like this game I think it's a great start to it and I hope it does well um, that is my honest review having access to that signal could really do it Brady send out the broadcast we got this, Brady. With the people of Philly supporting us, we can't fail.